Della, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be dropping this on YouTube because I'm having trouble saving these lives, but I'm uploading a breakdown to YouTube uh, within the next day or two. This is just some random shit. Thank you, Piggy Bank, Fredo. I appreciate that, bro. Let me know what you guys think of the new pack. 
I was gone for a minute. I haven't dropped shit since uh, August last year, so I was eager to drop something. I got more on the way. Probably a volume two. Uh, let's see. See if I can play some more. Past few months, I've just been working on a bunch of different ideas, loops, compositions, just recording shit. Then FL load up. These guys got questions. I mean, I got time to answer some stuff. I got a breakdown for one of the new samples going on YouTube tomorrow or the day after that. But uh yeah, I've been I've been leaning heavy into this novella theme. Very melodic, very reminiscent of uh of music. Kind of music that I grew up on. bunch of random shit two sounds piano and some drums um what else do i got to show you um let's see so i got novella uh sample pack volume two probably gonna come out eventually and i got some other stuff in between that i want to drop <laughs> This loop is basically me experimenting with one of my samples by kind of like squeezing, I think, let's see. This original loop sounded like this. with it turn into this so you know just messing with the pitch trying to get the timing different and you come up with different vibes and it just it worked out really nice um i'm trying to play some other shit that would be interesting I guess ask questions. You guys got any questions or want to know anything?
eventually all these will turn into uh, full compositions or like fuller samples. Yeah, yeah, I pretty much taught myself how to play keys. It's been a few years now, but self-taught with the help of YouTube playing every day. Um, trying to replay songs that I like, learning the chords and stuff, that helped. play for fun um there's a sample by lolita the original song is called um abrazame that's the original song it's called abrazame it's by lolita sounds like this So when I, I heard the loop while I was playing it in the car and right away I wanted to take that section and just do my best to replay it. It's not perfect, but I think I got it kind of close. So I'll play the original again. a really good example of ways that I was able to teach myself how to make samples is by taking already existing samples and replaying them. Obviously, I don't you wouldn't want to put this in a pack or call it your own, but it's more of an exercise to to be able to replay stuff. Um, you know, it kind of teaches you what what different instruments to use, what different elements to add. So I used to do this for I've, I've done this for years, but I decided to do it again just for fun. Um, so to rebuild this, I started out with this sound. And then I added the roads. The 
original. You know, it's never going to be identical because I'm literally using plugins and shit to recreate sounds that were obviously recorded live. Like, the strings were fucking live. Um, and the only reason it came together nicely at the end is because um, I use RX-8 or um, RX-9 to basically strip out the drums and the vocals so I can add it on top of my replay. Because this is straight from the original sample right here. And the drums too. So, you know, being able to rip those elements was like the cherry on top to the replay because it really sold it. But yeah. And the strings are my favorite part. Uh, the strings, oh man, I don't have it open anymore. I probably what came from it was I, I stack, I stack strings like crazy. Uh, but for reverb, I definitely go with a plate. Uh, lately, I've been using the Arteria. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Arteria, 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 whatever the fuck it's called. That's uh, the plate reverb. If I can find it. Man, I was just using it. Why can't I find it? Oh, here we go. It's called the Rev Plate. Uh, so I really anything plate will sound good if you're trying to go with like that vintage sound because it just it it puts it in that period. So, and spring reverb is great on stuff too. I use springs. I use um. Rev Spring also too from um from Arteria is great. But yeah, I highly recommend doing replays just for yourself and for fun to to practice no sample making because it again it'll it'll teach you a lot. I, it won't be spot on. I know people that can play spot on, but I take it as far as I can go. No, oh, just another idea. So much shit here, man. Southside rides. Damn. Yeah, just a lot of shit. A lot of these samples were supposed to go on um, the new pack, but pulled it last minute, played around with it. And it'll come up with something better. Uh, but yeah, YouTube really suggested me an interview from 2012. Oh, it was really good to see your improvement. Oh shit, 2012. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I did. I did some interviews and stuff for. I forgot what it was for. Hmm. <laughs>
through the archives real quick. Novelas. Files. put you on to a plugin that I, I just found out about. Uh, it's great. It's fucking great. Let's see. Here we go. I've been using Teletone Audio. So Teletone Audio Golden Age Piano. Yeah, the Golden Age Piano. Uh, where's the boy who records these lives when you need him? <laughs> uh, this piano is crazy. So it emulates a bunch of different recordings of a bunch of different performances and like movie scores. And the quality is not amazing, but it's it's playable. I really like the sounds. The plugin is not that expensive. It's a contact. Um, it's a contact library. has like RC20 type effects on it which is fucking crazy um, so yeah it's called Golden Age Grand Golden Age Grand yeah you know what it is on every ad but I ignored it for so long and I finally bought it and it's actually dope especially for like soulful stuff I really fuck with it it's not a sponsored live. <laughs> it's, it's dope. Like, it already sounds like aged. It's got the right texture to it and everything. find it somewhere but if you got extra money laying around and you want to pick up something different i mean this is cool i really don't buy plugins that often either but i was sold on this ah uh, roads affair actually yeah i prefer i prefer the new roads affair because of uh the blending options the last one just had presets. Um, and it was cool. And I actually, I used it a lot. But when he released this new one. This is amazing.
DJ Khalil. Khalil, man, this is uh, Roads Affair. It's amazing, bro. You need to pick this up. It's basically just a classic 80s, early 90s piano sounds. You can like stack a bunch of different ones. They got the classic blend, the Legacy 1988. Uh, they're, they're labeled really weird, but some of them are like iconic pianos. You can like stack and layer them and then fuck with the levels. Really, really incredible. Sounds really good. Uh, I mean, let's see. I mean, I used to do samples with that Luis Miguel vibes, World's Affair songs. Yeah, man, Luis Miguel. Yo, those Luis Miguel vibes, bro. <laughs> This piano can can do all of that, man. Like you can, you can really go to town on like the different, different effects. Not effects, but like like the sounds. You can add pads into the mix to give it more of like a spacey vibe. Like. Uh... <laughs> This one too. How long have you been playing piano? Minor rise to tomorrow. I'm a bit confused on where to start. Just start, dude. Just start. Honestly, start playing. Do you plan on doing? It? Yeah, yeah. So go pick up the new pack novella. And I honestly, I'd rather let you guys tell me which sample you want me to break down. I might do two or three, but I don't want to break down samples that you guys don't give a fuck about. So. Pick the ones that you like off the new pack, and I'll, I'll I'll do a breakdown of it. I want it to be valuable for you guys to like tune in and you know and see the ones that you want to see. But so yeah, that's two two plugins right there. So the Golden Age Grand 
and the what is this? The audio lounge. Honestly, best best keyboard plugin ever. It's amazing. Uh, just got the Profit Rev Two, my first analog keyboard. How much? How much more fun than clicking? Yeah, I'm telling you, being able to uh, to fuck with knobs will de will defeat the mouse any day. Any day. And then also to Keyscape. Keyscape has amazing vintage digital keys. Uh, the piano, the E-Piano 1 Gospel and the Gospel 2. <whistles> amazing. the replies to cop yes sir yes sir can i send you some for feedback yeah yeah i mean i'm always down to listen to stuff just shoot me a dm with a dropbox link always love listening to people's samples you know i like different levels whether you're just starting out or you're like dj khalil fucking winning grammys any level Bring it on. I want to listen to everything. Best way to learn jazz chords. Man, I used to ask that question a lot. Jazz chords, especially for someone that doesn't really understand like how to read music or knows all the chords and shit. Uh, I Honestly, the way I learned was just by fucking around on the keys. Yo, unknown. What's good, bro? Yo, man, you're, you are the new GOAT. The consistency that this man possesses. Incredible, man. Salute to you in the library. Unknown. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just fucking around on the keys and getting familiar with like the different like the way your fingers land on the keys, the different chords, and then you can like transpose those up and down and you just like once you start playing and you get more comfortable on the keys, things will come naturally. And that's, I'm just speaking off of my experience because I don't have that background of, um, of knowing how to like read music and shit and knowing exactly where to go next. It's all trial and error. So I basically learned by just playing. But if you have the opportunity to learn the proper way, then definitely go that route. So yeah, Keyscape, don't sleep on Keyscape. Uh, what else? I'm trying to see, oh, here, here's another one. Here's a, a one that people don't really know about. And if you do, then t tell me, but I've been using Gospel, music Gospel Musicians plugins a lot. More specifically, the FM Tines, which is another like retro 80s, early 90s type of like vibe. But they have really nice sounds. Some of them are kind of cheesy, but the majority of them are really nice. I'm going to go through a few. Uh, DX7. Take it easy, man. I appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> so 
it's like really interesting sounds that once you start playing. processing of your synth uh really nothing when i'm recording man i usually just kind of go in swift to give yo what's good bro what's good swift uh when i'm just recording the synth i usually just go in whatever effects are on the on the actual key like the actual keyboard itself which is usually just like a spring reverb that's built in um and i won't process anything until i decide what that sound will be in the mix or in that composition. So the majority of the time, if I'm going for something super experimental, I'll run it through a lot of reverb, I'll chop it up, you know, play with the effects. But if I'm just looking for a nice lead sound or bass sound or something pretty basic, you know, it, I don't, I try not to process it too much unless I have to. Everything has to be intentional. A lot of the processing that I do is to either add or remove stuff, you know? I try not to change the sound because like the keyboards have really nice warm sounds to begin with. They usually sound good out the box. Um, and going into the, 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 the DAW, it sounds good, but it just really depends. So yeah, Gospel Musicians, FM Tines, great plug. start out learning any scales uh yeah so um actually no no man like I, I i keep saying this like it's it's always been just playing by ear not really knowing what the fuck i was doing on the on the keys um a lot of the learning came from emulating samples and songs that i really enjoyed by replaying them um and learn and trying to learn those chords it's essentially once you learn those chords in one key or scale, whatever, you can like transpose the fuck out of those, go up and down and just learn it, you know? And that's pretty much what I did. Um, and I'm still learning stuff now. Like I learn different ways of playing, different chord progressions, different ways to play a certain chord pretty much every day because I'm always playing. Um, so it was just experimenting. And a lot of it is just playing and then making a mistake or what I think is a mistake, but it ends up sounding great. Um, and then that gets programmed in my brain as like, okay, this works. So I'm going to put that in my library, in my head, and I'll, I'll use it when it's appropriate. So it's just adding up, adding up, adding up. <laughs> Thank you. 
brings out though. Yeah. You know what, John? Dude, that is facts. Um not not really knowing like the proper way to play sometimes kind of like reveals like your your true playing ability, you know, like the soul. Cause if everything was too structured, it'd be too robotic. You would be kind of stuck within the box because in your mind you're like, okay, I can't do this because the rules say it is. But when you don't know the rules, you just kind of fuck around and do whatever. Facts be. or FM Tynes a lot for like that 80s vibe which is save the live bro I got here late man if you can teach me how to fucking save these lives I'll upload it to YouTube man lately I've been having trouble every time I end it it doesn't give me the option to save I wish I could upload you know what if I when I leave if I'm able to save it I'll save it and I'll upload it um What's another thing I can show you guys? Man, I think that's that's about it besides the keyboards. Um, yeah, there's all the plugins right here. <laughs> uh, what do you recommend technically first being self-taught? I say do do it all. Um, I would I, to start out first. I would just start playing. Um, listen to songs that you know are dope, whether you make samples or you make beats or whatever, just find your favorite piece of music and try to replay it. Learn the chords, learn how they, how they, how they did it, at least at the, at the most basic level. And then go and just go, go from there. Find out the reason why songs are dope. Why, what, what makes a song good and do your best to recreate that. Obviously don't do it in and call it yours, but you know, it's, it's just a way to learn. Like for, for example, when I first started out drawing, the best way that I learned was by tracing. I would trace. Cause what you're doing is kind of like programming your hand and your brain to learn how to like move in that motion. And the same applies to music. No, for whatever reason, it won't give me the download option. It's weird. How do I find inspiration for making samples? <laughs> <laughs> I find inspiration by listening to music, by uh, by playing around on the piano. Comes in many different forms. Let's see. Mm, I don't even know what to show you guys next. I think I think we're we're at the tail end. Um, all right, I know what I can do. I got an idea. Taking you through the, through the archives. Who wants my sound? These are all the samples, or at least some of the finished ones. Hoping to have the next pack done soon. Taking off since August. Man, that was way too long. Way too fucking long. Boom, boom. Let's see. <laughs>
Loading, loading, loading. So here, we'll go through it. Uh, this one, this specific sample started out with uh, Addictive Keys and I use the, um, it's, it's one of the piano presets. It, it looks like this. Well, first of all, I told myself I wanted to make a sample that the Alchemist would use, you know, like the Alchemist would flip for like currency or something. Um, so I had that in my mind as far as like, all right, this is the direction I want to go in. Um, so I came up with something that sounded like some obscure Russian prog or Russian jazz or some, some random shit that he would find on an LP. process it was reels eq outer space for like that space echo a limiter just to kind of make it louder kind of squash it so that was that uh the next piece was i think it was this And this was the OB6. Um, the OB6, I pitched it up. Originally, it sounded like this. I was looking for like a spacey synthy element. So, pitched it up. I added EQ, spring reverb uh the echo t7e i really like this plugin because it's just like a trippy old school type of delay echo you play with the with the with the knobs here and it gives you a bunch of different crazy shit it sounds great um reverb and then a vc2a compressor at the end just to kind of squash it so it didn't like peak too crazy um and so far with those two elements with the keys you get this <laughs> That added like enough, enough of like that spacey vibe where I can build on top of it. And then I added uh, a really like nasally Prophet 6 pad. And for this, I didn't even process nothing. This is straight out the synth. play bass live bass so i rely on plugins lately it's been trillion trillion for the bass and uh sounds like this <laughs> And then I added 
roads at the end just to kind of break it up. And granted, I have a Rhodes, I have a Rhodes here, but for whatever reason, I just went to Keyscape. Keyscape had the sauce that I needed, so. And it's the Rhodes LA Custom Suitcase Warm. And I processed it with a uh, limiter. I just added the ref plate with reels and then a VC2A compressor for Native Instruments at the end just to kind of pancake it a little bit. And all together, you get this. do it often where i add the drums but again going for like that alc vibe i added the a type of drum pattern he would do to kind of like uh catch the pocket a little bit when i was adding stuff <laughs> Damn, I wasn't expecting to do a whole breakdown. It just happened. I'll play one more and then I'm about to get out of here. And then when I get out of the live, I'm going to see if I can save the, uh, the live. I'll, I'll post it. vibes yes sir i appreciate i appreciate you guys watching um make sure to go to my youtube because i think I'll, i'm gonna try to upload this live if it doesn't upload i'm still gonna put an official Hijo that i'm on library breakdown on um on the channel from the new pack so dm me the ones that you want me to break down i'm gonna do two or three so pick two or three from the new pack and those will be the ones that i do yes Go buy Novella Pack, either from com or The Drum Broker. Been watching your videos all day. I appreciate this. I appreciate you watching, man. I got more on the way. You guys have a good night.